Hello and welcome to FEI TV with me, Kieran Crowley. Join me here in Cork ahead of the extra dotty FEI Cup first round action, which we're all looking forward to this weekend. One of the headline fixtures, of course, is Cork City facing Cove Ramblers at St. Coleman's Park. I'm delighted to be joined by new Cove Ramblers manager, Shane Keegan. How's it going, Shane? How are you enjoying it? Yeah, a lot better this week. Yeah. <laughs> a lot better this week. No, a tough, tough start to it, um, so it was. But we knew that was the case. A couple of tough fixtures early on, but... Uh, yeah, terrific result on Friday night. Boys played superbly well. Um, we rolled out with that then and into a, a Munster Senior Cup semi-final on Monday night. Yeah. We made nine changes and got another really positive result. So all of a sudden, there's lots of smiles on faces this week, thankfully. Yeah, it's it's funny when that rolls into two results and then coming into a really difficult game, probably against Cork. How much confidence does that give around the place? Yeah, hugely, hugely. If I'm perfectly honest, if, if this game, if Sunday's game against Cork had been a week earlier, you're kind of going, oh, you know, and, and what could they do to you potentially? Um, whereas now, all of a sudden, as I say, 20 different fellas after starting, um, you know, two terrific results, seven goals scored, no goal conceded from open play in those two games. Now everybody is smiling and, you know, we're training here this evening and, you're, you know, the, the vibe around the place is, is going to be fantastic. And look, everybody knows it's, it's a massive ask. Um, Cork are, are top of the table for a reason. They're, they're yeah, a fantastic course, side. But at the same time, now all of a sudden there probably will be a, you know, lads will be relishing it and there'll be a little bit of a quiet confidence about it. Obviously, we were speaking to Charlie Fleming for another feature earlier today, and he sort of referenced the fact that you've, you've come in and sort of changed a little bit. Was, was the, did you know what you were getting yourself in for, and were you surprised with what you sort of found? Yeah, I suppose, to be honest with you, if it'd been, if it'd been dropped into a Premier Division side, you probably know a little bit more, you know, just, I suppose, having done a bit of media work and that over the last while, you're, you're watching a hell of a lot of, of Premier Division football. So, coming in here, it kind of was coming in with a, a, a fresh face. I didn't know a huge amount about the boys. Kind of, it was only 48 hours between the, their first contact with me and, and me officially being in the role. So, that gave me very little time to get a look at, at the players that yeah. were at the club. Um, so, it was, it was, look, it was very much a case learning on the job. Um, and to be fair, I probably didn't do the boys any favours in that. I had to kind of chop and change the team so much early on to get a look at them all that it was yeah. hard to get any kind of fluency whereas things are a bit more settled now I'm starting to I think have everybody's names learned off by this stage and uh, yeah things are, are, are looking a hell of a lot brighter. Well, speaking of everybody's names you've been able to look at the squad and maybe have you been able to sort of look at any new additions or are you sort of making your mind up and maybe looking on towards next year? Yeah there is there would be one eye on next year Kieran I suppose really so there would but at the same time you know it's the club's 100th anniversary um, course, it's an important yeah. year for them so that we can't allow the season just to, to, to peter it's out nuts, really yeah, yeah. A, a couple of decent results in in the league obviously like friday night's one and then you know you look at the two cups and you're thinking well there is a real opportunity to make a statement in in the club's 100th anniversary year um we've got a, a monster senior cup final that i think is likely to be around the beginning of september yeah. um and before then this one on i mean what better way yeah. to mark uh, to mark an important year than to get a to win the fei cup to win the never mind winning sunday win the whole yeah. bloody thing um but look that's you know one step at a time, but yeah, no, there is an eye on next year, but as, as we know in football, if you look too far, uh, too far ahead, the then, present yeah. bites you fairly quickly. <laughs> well, talking about the present, obviously the games at St. Coleman's Park um, and the FA Cup at the weekend, very noticeable to a lot of people who watch it on LOI TV earlier in the season, that game at St. Coleman's Park, Cove Ramblers, Cork City, just how many, so many people were there. Yeah. Felt like a big occasion, players really got up for it like how much are you looking forward to getting stuck into the atmosphere because it surprised a lot of people how many people are really there yeah no and 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 that's it i mean you've got so many culmination of so many different things this weekend the fact that it is yeah. a cup game rather than just a league game the fact that it is a local derby um and then i just think the atmosphere the the, the, the potential crowd could really really add to the whole scenario on the night and uh I suppose the challenge for, for Cove fans is to try and make sure we match the Cork turnout because it, they yeah. will travel in big numbers yeah. with it just been down the road and there's no excuse for them not to come and it's, you know, if we get any sort of decent weather and, and a nice Sunday bank holiday, um, you know, hope the place could be absolutely hopping, absolutely hopping. We just need to make sure that it's not a, there's not more City fans in the place yes. than there is Ramblers fans. And, and create that special atmosphere which you potentially need to cause that upset. Just one final thing, obviously he had a debutant score last week as well. You've been able to, it's, it was a great moment for him. Some goal, it captured all, it was, it was the views on social media was doing really well. That's, I suppose you've had to find solutions in the squad that you've got already. That's it, yeah. We've, we've, we've had quite a few debuts, even in, in just a few games that I've had. Um, I think my first league game in, four of the five centre midfielders were unavailable for various oh, different geez. reasons. So we've, we've had young Liam Hopkins got thrown in straight away in that game against Treaty. Um, and then Sean Barron has, has gone and got injured um, in, in a, um, our set-piece practice the following week, which meant that... Uh, 
Dara has has been thrown into the gold, you know, whatever about making your debut out the field and thrown into the in at the deep end. And uh, look, he did it. He he, you know, he probably had a tough first couple of weeks because we were playing against really really strong sides. Um, he was outstanding for us Friday night. So naturally enough, a young player like that was going to need a couple of games to to find his feet. Um, so yeah, there are there are super young players. I don't know if you saw uh, David and Justin both yes, scored for us course. on Monday night then as well to, yeah. to see two young brothers like they that look, do it as well. It's was, a great headline as ah, well. Absolutely super. So that. That was that was another really really great positive out of it. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of very very good young players. Our 19 side are flying it, you see. So that thankfully gives us because a, a club like Cove, you know, realistically over the next few years, we're not going to have the budget to be paying big money for guys. So you've got to be producing be like, your own. Yeah, yeah you've got to be producing yeah. your own, which yeah. thankfully the club is at the minute. Yeah. Well, Shane, good luck for the weekend. Thank and you if very you want to watch that match, of course, it is on Alloy TV. It's just five euros this weekend, FEI Cup special. So make sure you do tune in, and we'll see you at the weekend.